So how much does it cost to charge an electric car? Well, how long's a piece of string? Yeah, I know that's not very helpful, but bear with me because there's many factors involved. First, let's assume you're charging at home. As we're making this video, electricity prices have gone up. So it's now common to be paying around 28 pence per kilowatt hour of electricity. Don't worry about reaching for your phone and firing up the calculator because we've done all the maths for you. So let's say you've got home in an EV with an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack and you're going to charge it to 80%. Why not 100? Well, the charge rate slows down the closer the battery gets to full when using rapid chargers. Plus, it's better for battery longevity. Anyway, this means you're going to be sending about 64 kilowatt hours of lovely electricity straight to your EV. That's quite a bit of juice. To put this in context, boiling a full kettle uses about 0.07 kilowatt hours. 64 times 28p is around 18 pounds, so you can give your car around 200 miles of range for the cost of a large takeaway pizza. Based on those current petrol prices we'd rather not think too much about, those same 200 miles would cost about £33 for your average family car. Except it's not quite that simple. Not everyone pays the same for electricity and some are on dual rate tariffs which are cheaper overnight. So that 18 quid we mentioned just now is a bit of an average case scenario. You'll probably end up spending a fair bit less. This doesn't apply though to a public fast charger, which is going to cost you more. For a fast charger, it will be about 45p per kilowatt hour. Again, we've done the maths for you, because we're nice like that. This time, our 64 kilowatt hour charge comes out at around 29 pounds, a decent increase. But depending on the kind of efficiency you're getting, it should still be a fair bit less than driving an equivalent petrol car. Again, it's not quite that simple, as some chargers do cost more. Ionity's 350 kilowatt chargers, for example, are 72p per kilowatt hour, although you can lower that cost with a subscription. So charging an electric car can be very cost effective versus fueling a combustion powered car, but it quite literally pays to go for the most efficient EV you can and to charge at home most of the time. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live.